Hello friends, let's see if you would agree with me. Pink powder has become an explosion. Lately, every company seems like they are just getting into pink powders. And so I'm gonna talk about why that is. I'm also going to talk about the very best pink powders I have any, anywhere from drugstore all the way up to very luxury ones. So don't forget that I do have a numbering system. Number comes right here on the screen. It will correspond to the product that I'm talking about. Just remember the number, not the product or anything about it because all that information will be listed and linked down below for you with the no next to the number. And you can also find it in the first pinned comment if that's how you would like to shop if you're interested in that. Okay, let's talk about why pink powder. First of all, I wanna tell you that pink powder is not for everyone. And the reason being is because it's very light and it's very brightening, yes, and that's why everybody is clinging onto it right now. But it's not for anybody that has a warm tone to their skin. So if you know that you're a warm tone gal, you really shouldn't grab a pink powder. And if you are anywhere on the darker side of medium all the way up to the very deepest, darkest skin, I would never touch a pink powder. So it's really designed for very fair white paper skin like me. And it's also designed on up to, you know, light medium into that area. But thankfully companies have so many different colors of powders, especially the companies that I'm talking about, that you can find them no matter what skin tone you are. I will tell you that if you are somebody that has that warm tone, look for peaches. Look for colors that brighten um, like a banana powder or something like that. We used to do banana powder even if we were fair and it really did brighten, but it just didn't match our complexion that well because being so fair, you tend to lean a little bit neutral cool. So I wanna just start off by sort of showing you what what a pink powder does. I do have my powder on already, but I want to go a little bit further and show you what pink powder can do. And we're just going to use the Kosas Cloud Set. It's one of the ones in the lineup today, but it's one of the ones that I like the best because I feel like it does give the best brightening and it's nice for mature skin if you're sparing with it. Now, I've talked about how to apply powder before. I do it with a brush sometimes. Sometimes I do it with a puff. I did find a clean puff this morning, which was really nice. So this is Kosas Cloud Set Powder, and this is called Candy. It may not come across on screen that well, but it is quite a pink powder. So this one doesn't have any talc. That's a definite bonus. I love a good pressed powder as well. I always feel like pressed powders are a little bit better because they have to have binding agents in order to be pressed like that. So that's just my thinking on that. So I'm going to just pick up quite a bit of powder here on my puff, but I'm not going to go right in or we would have a dry mess. Pat it out in your hand. You're really working it into your puff and your or, and or your brush, whichever one you wanna use. And then I start right down here and then I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go underneath the eyes. So most of the powder's going down here in this area where I have all my pores and texture, and then I'm gonna go across the eyes. Now you should be able to see pretty well on camera the difference in the two. It does brighten up some. It does really look more luminous, a little bit more brightening. Now these kinds of powders are your basic setting powders. One more time, let's just do the other side so you can see it demonstrated. And a pink powder versus just a regular translucent powder is gonna bring that brightness. And this one does a great job at blurring as well as the brightness. And it just works really well on my mature 56 year old skin. You don't have to use a ton of this. It's very light and airy feeling. I really love this one. This one might be a contender for the number one spot with all the powders that I'm gonna show you today. Now, I do have two powders in here that have the claim of being a pink powder but unfortunately I don't see them as such. And the first one is from Makeup by Mario. Now everybody right now is using this powder. They're going nuts for it. It's in Fair Pink. It's the Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder. It is a loose powder and I just don't see the reality of this being a pink powder. Here's a very pink one that I have. This one's actually in a rose color and I'll show you this one in a second. So I feel like this one is almost leaning white. Pat McGrath came out with her pink powder, which I'm not a humongous fan of. I think that powder is extremely drying. I won't put that underneath my eyes. I do use it around my face because I want to use it up. But same thing. It's not this uber pink. 
that we're looking for to do that brightening. Now, again, this is a nice powder as I get it all over my pants. This is a nice powder. It's very light and airy feeling, but in the long run, I feel like this one is just a little bit too dry for my mature skin. I have not been reaching for this one. I used it maybe four times and I just did find that it was just a little bit too drying for me and it didn't give the pink payoff that the other powders that I'm going to share with you did. And also Makeup Forever was kind enough to send me this, but at the same time, again, I don't feel like this has, this lives up to the name, which is Corrective Rose. Makeup Forever does this incredible packaging and it's kind of a mess right now because I was traveling with it. I do like this one for setting around my face. However, underneath my eyes, I'm not a fan of this one. You do twist and then you get the shaker out of it. Now, when I look at this, I don't see rose at all. I see just your basic, a translucent, maybe a fair to light powder. I don't see rose at all in that one. Again, this one doesn't have any talc. That's always a bonus, but a lot of high-end powders do have talc in them too. So this one is in the same boat with the Makeup by Mario as far as color goes. However, I do like the Makeup Forever as far as setting goes. I don't use this one underneath my eyes though because I do feel like it is a little bit too drying for that. So you know, I also ordered and love the new Juvia's Place one. Now Juvia's Place, when I talk about having a range in colors. They have the gamut from the palest paper white women to the very deepest gorgeous skin you could ever get. And they knock it out of the park with their powders and all of their products. This one is called Cotton Candy and it is also a loose powder. Now this one does have more pigment in it than the other ones. So you are getting that true pink color in there. I do love the feel of this one. Super light, super airy. I do think that if you're an oily skin person, you're gonna love. If you're not and you're dry like me, this is gonna be one that you would use more in the summer, or it's gonna be one that you use in the T-zone where you get some break apart. Beautiful powder. I really love the no powder powder feel of this. So it's super light and it just feels like a puff. And so this one is really nice powder and I can endorse this one. But again, I feel like this is more if you're on the side of normal to oily, this is a great one. I kind of feel that way about lots of powders that are the loose powders versus the pressed powder, but there are some exceptions. And the exception is the Huda Beauty powders. These are the, this is a small one, so it's called the Baby Bake Loose Baking, Baking and Setting Powder. And it also says that this is cherry blossom cake. So I like the delivery system of this one because it doesn't get all over. Now, I don't use that puff. I usually just put some into my hand. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see how brightening and how my pants are gonna be destroyed by the end of this video, how nice this is. Now, I do feel like this is a much more rich and emollient, if a powder can even be described as that powder. It just has this quality of feeling a little bit more buttery than all those other ones I showed you. It does in this brightening cherry color, it does have that super brightening effect on the eyes, almost a luminous effect. And if you're somebody that is the palest of the pale, you're gonna love this one even for putting a little bit more powder on than you normally might. For us dry gals, it's wonderful. But I hear this one praised all the time because everybody loves this powder and for good reason. It's very luxurious, it's very soft, it's very finely milled and I feel like it does work on so many people. And again, Huda knocked it out of the park when she gave you so many choices. So if you do like the thought of having a very, a kind of a softer, more buttery powder, then she's got a color for you, even if you aren't into pink. Now, the one that actually started all this craze that I actually feel like is a fantastic powder, and it's one that I reach for over and over again, is from One Size. This is an exceptional powder, and this is called Ultra Pink. I love the delivery system on this one too. I feel like if you're gonna, you know, charge us so much for a high-end product or getting close to a luxury product, the delivery system should be as high-end and as luxury, and they did that on this powder. It's really nice the way that they, that they put this in here. Okay, so you have the lid, 
and then you have the sifter and there's not a lot that's going to come out now i would say that between all the powders that i have shown you this one has the most pink in it and i'm going to put this in the puff so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea and then i'm going to just pat it around in the hand right there so you can see that too they're very very brightening that's what makes them so beautiful and set apart so well this one as well is made with mica so little bit of that luminosity talc versus mica that's what the differences are i know there's some people feel like there's health concerns with talc that's a personal choice but talc is usually what people set their makeup with because it does absorb a lot of moisture and excess oils and that whereas mica is a little bit less absorbent a little bit more luminous talc is very matte so these are made with that i like this one so much i think that between this one and the Costas cloud set these are probably probably my two favorite higher end you know leaning towards luxury and with the one from one size it feels like you get a ton in here i mean i feel like i've hardly made a dent in this so this one is just beautiful for under the eyes, for touch-ups during the day, whatever. You can get this in a smaller size as well, which I think is absolutely fantastic that you can get it into that smaller size and you know throw it into your purse. So that's great. Huda does the same thing on theirs. Now, the two drugstore options that I have for you in this video are one from e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. When this one first came out, it was really exciting because elf had done this beautiful gorgeous very luminous powder and that's the difference i want to tell you in this powder and in all the other powders is this does have a very tiny bit of that luminous property to it now what is interesting to me is sticking my finger in there feels like a makeup by mario or a makeup forever powder it's just so luxurious and so nice the sifter on this one i forgot to twist down that's why it's out so it does have a twist inside there the delivery system is quite nice and again this one is in the pink color now i do want to say once again this is not a true rose powder or pink powder excuse me but it's really darn close it's almost like a peachy pink super light powder so that you know the color of it but it's a good powder then the last one that I have that I think is a fantastic powder that they have been putting out powders for a very long time is from Rev Revolution Beauty and this one is in rose now I know that somewhere back there they did have a pink one but now they've switched over to rose and I assume it's because of this pink powder explosion but this one is probably my most saturated powder that there is on the market as far as this rosy color somebody that was super duper fair could almost get away with wearing this one as either a highlighter or even really super light blush this one doesn't have any of that luminous property to it this is a beautiful setting powder i do feel like again this might be not the best for the very driest of the dry gals but i use this one all the time as well and i find that i like it a lot because it has that more of a rose color and it does that a little bit more of that brightening underneath my eyes i love this one and i love the elf one these two at the drugstore this would be your setting powder from revolution beauty and this one the halo glow would be your finishing powder from elf if you're into using both for different reasons and then as far as everything else that we talked about pretty much i would say that my favorite ones are the three huda beauty one size and kosas i love all three of these i hope i gave you a bunch of options that you're going to be happy with this was really fun for me to do because there are so many on the market right now that are being just blown up on social media and i wanted to compare them all for you and yes i did try others but these were my standouts hopefully your mature skin will love these like my mature skin does just remember that if you over powder just spray some sp setting spray on your face and it should take up all of that powdery look onto your face all right now what i want you to do after you watch this video is go over and check out this video right here which is all about the differences in setting versus uh, versus finishing powders and i did this video a couple years back but i still think it's really relevant so i hope that you do enjoy seeing that come back around and see me very soon i love you so much goodbye my friends